Geschichte. Welcome. Today I'm using four pictures. I drag one to the timeline, crop to fit, and reduce it to three seconds. Next, I went to the Effects tab, searched for the square blur effect, and applied it. I then returned to the Effects tab, searched for the foil confetti or falling purple effect, and applied it as well. Now click, then scale up to 140. I applied a keyframe to the transform settings and adjusted only the rotation, setting it to minus 10. Next, move the playhead to two seconds, then go to transform to add a keyframe. Reset the rotation to zero and preview the result. Now, drag down the same picture, adjust its duration to match, right click to crop to fit, then go to effects, search for the border effect and apply it. Click, then go to Effect to increase the border size to 5, then click the Crop icon. Select the 16-9 aspect ratio, click on Pan and Zoom, adjust the grid frame as shown, click the Switch icon in the bottom right corner, and then Apply. Click, then go to Transform to add a keyframe. Set the scale to 60, and scroll down to adjust the rotation to minus 10. Using the second keyframe below as a guide, click the picture above, then go up to Apply Keyframe to Transform, then type minus three in Rotate. Now click the keyframe panel icon on the picture, select both scales, right click to Bezier Curve, then apply Easy Out, and afterward click the icon again to minimize as shown. Next, go to Transitions, search for Brush Stroke, and you'll find many options you can use. Since I already have some downloaded transitions in my favorites, I drag down and apply the Brush and Ink Transition Pack 15, then preview it. Now I select all, right click to copy, click on track one and paste. Then I go to media, press and hold the alt key and drag the same picture down twice to replace the one on the timeline as shown. I then delete the transition Go back to Transitions and drag down another brush and ink transition, this time Pack 17. I clicked the picture below, selected the first keyframe, removed the minus from minus 10 in Rotate, and left the second keyframe at zero in Rotate. But for the picture above, I clicked, selected the first keyframe, removed the minus from 10 in Rotate, and clicked the second keyframe point, and deleted also the minus from 3 in Rotate. Afterward, I previewed. After previewing, I noticed a bit of adjustment, so I clicked the second keyframe point of each picture above and typed 80 to scale up. Afterward, I previewed. Now I select all, right click to copy, click track one, then paste it beside, then I go to media, press and hold the Alt key as I drag down the same picture twice to replace the ones on the timeline as shown. Next, delete the transitions. So I went back to transition to drag and applied different brush stroke transitions, such as stylish brush and white big brush transitions. Also, I went back to drag and applied the dissolve transition in between the background picture and then reduced eek to 10 seconds as shown. Next, I went to Effect, and you will see a mild effect under Shake, Drag Down, and Extend to match the duration below. Last but not least, click then O up to only type 20 in position Z and untick the RGB separate after preview. Also, the template link with multiple pictures for this tutorial is in the description. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.